This is the truth, not that. It's a difference. All right, let's see what people got here. My graduation coming, y'all. We just we 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 we're looking for the place. It's still gonna be in Atlanta though. It's not in California no more. I know everybody wanna be there. And it's only gonna be what, six hundred seats now? Yeah. Peace, peace, man. God. How you feeling? What's going on with you, man? And bless us to you, King. What's your name and where you from? I'm from Philly. My name is Khalil. Oh, okay, Philly, Philly. Man, I love Philly, boy. I, tell, I get so much love in Philly, man. That's one of my favorite places to be, man. Yeah, man. I'll be watching a lot of your videos, man. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? I was working overnight. I don't I don't know if there's anything going on with me. I just was working overnight and I'm 36 and I'm just, you know, trying to go vegan and stop eating meat because I've been knew it was bad, but when you addicted to it, like you just you just keep eating. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I really wanted to ask you something about my lady dad. He he on dialysis. And mm -hmm. I heard you saying something in the video about that you can get his kidneys back online yeah if so it depends on because now uh, i was i was speaking about in like four videos a day uh four videos ago that the kidneys can be damaged sometimes to the point of no return uh due to and this happened due to high blood pressure so is it high blood pressure or diabetes is the reason which one is filling his kidneys high blood pressure or diabetes it should be one of them i'm not even sure but, but every saturday he go to do his dialysis and then do you know if he's still urinating or not, or can he can he still produce urine? Can he still pee? Yeah, I'm I'm not even that far on that information. See, so so because like if it's so many different variations, I can't even tell you the right thing right now because it's so many different variations. So what I want you to do is uh, how you want to do that? Huh? What's what's your what's your name on here? Yeah. AC got it. Got it. Spell it real quick. A C G O T I D. A C G O T? Yeah. It, it's just A C got it. Oh, A C got it. A, A C got it. All right. Now B gonna send you something from, uh, from management at yaki.com. Make sure I mean yeah, manage a management uh yaki. So uh it's on my page. It's the only other thing I follow. It's man and I follow my backup page. So if it's if it's emailing you saying it's not B and it's not from a page I follow, it ain't me, y'all. So not B and then send all this information in and then we'll see what we can do but i gotta i gotta see everything because we need is how bad is the kidney is it kidney scarring you see yeah. what i'm saying it's a nephritis is the nest round working is he able to urine and produce urine again is his hypertension bad is a hydrostatic pressure is it diabetes mellitus is it insulin dependent like there's a reason why the kidney's failing the kidneys just never fail by itself it's always another condition that makes the kidneys fail and without knowing what that is it's hard to kind of give you what to do you know i'm not one of them healers that just be saying shit so i gotta know what it is before i give you my recommendation can i ask you two more questions mm -hmm. quick is it a way to heal a dipilated eye uh i mean in a way it depends on how the eye is adipulated you see what i'm saying is mucus the cause is acidity the cause was it was the was the person born that way was it pressure is was it pressure in the back of the octant nerve that caused it that way is the retina still attached is it a detached retina you see what i'm saying my my mother she uh i think she had like an aneurysm or something like that uh -huh. she had seizures and one time she just had like a seizure or a stroke and she started seeing double vision. She started seeing she double, been... double vision. See, and, and then when you think about a stroke, a stroke is like just like a heart attack. A heart attack is when blood stops flowing to the heart. And and then when, and that's that's basically what a heart attack is. Same thing with a stroke is when blood stops flowing to the brain. So this is a circulatory issue. But we see that some nerves got damaged with that too. That's why she's seeing double. And you got to check her eye lenses. Is is the retina of the eye split? Is it floaters in the eye? So it's it's just gonna be a a, a thing of questionnaires that I have to ask. And then I want to get her in the clinic and put a camera in her eye to really see what's going on there. And it might be something simple that we can fix. It might be a mucus film that's over there that got to see in a double, or it could be something going on with the octave nerve and acids and mucus in the back of the eyes it can be anything so i would say this i think anything can be fixed if we if we if we know what's going on we ask the right questions if we change the diet but it is one thing that i seen that was kind of too late and that's the point of no return with them kidneys kidneys can be damaged and scarred up to a point where you just can't get them back and i'm not saying that it's not impossible but we have worked with many we didn't we didn't got many clients off of dialysis but it's just some that be in that stage five kidney failure to have them deep scar tissues on their kidneys that i myself have
haven't been able to actually reverse myself. That makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, look, give me all the information over. He reaching out to you now, and uh, let's let's do that. Let's 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 talk about that. I and give me all the information for uh for, for your your old dude. Hey Yaki, I'm a producer. I make beats and hooks and stuff like that. If you need if you need some beats, some production or something like that, let me know, man. Yeah. Start start, start sending yeah. me this stuff. Give me an email so I could just send you some stuff he, like he ain't your inbox now. He gonna send me. He gonna send you my email. I right, appreciate that, that, man. All right, peace, peace, God. All right, peace. It's in your top left, where your uh, what top right is where that X at. But y'all see, it's certain things that we can't, and this is the reason why consultations is very, very important, y'all, because it's certain stuff that I just can't give you a recommendation for if I don't know what's going on i gotta know the ins and outs the abcs and the one two threes before me to be able to comfortably just tell you what i think you should do and i think anybody that rush and give you an answer that truly haven't seen the whole thing or sought out the whole thing them people that you're not supposed to be listening to now there is things that you're gonna say on here where i give you something flat out this is what you need to do because i have the whole consumption and conclusion of the matter but if it's something like that and there's many different variations of how you got that way i need to see the paperwork i got to get to the root cause first and then i can tell you what i think we should do and how we should move forward all right all right who else we got Who else we got up in the building? How about a heart tra transplant? Uh, it depends on when they gave you the heart transplant, did they give you uh, immune suppressive therapy to actually suppress the immune system for the body or the biological entity to accept the heart? Because we see most heart transplant in my business, we see that the body just completely reject them. So they have to suppress your immune system for like two to three years or sometimes for the rest of your life for you to even have that heart. But sometimes if you clean up the blood, if you clean up the tissues and if you get the nervous system good, the body have a way of adapting, adaptation, adapting itself into accepting that heart as well. So uh, again, it depends on, but anybody that had a heart transplant, I think they need to be on some good heart herbs. Definitely get on some heart herbs. You got good heart herbs, uh, uh, like stingy nettle is very, very good for the heart. You have heart thorn berry, which is very, very good for the heart. The berry kingdom is amazing when it comes to the heart. You know, anything that goes after the blood that brings more oxygen into the circulatory system is very, very good for the heart. Peace, peace, goddess. How you doing? What's your name? Where you from? Peace, uh, Princess Nara. I'm from uh, about 30 minutes from like Atlanta, okay. Atlanta County. I feel from okay. I know exactly what that's at. What's going on with you? Got to talk to me. Um, so I was recently diagnosed like with bipolar disorder. Uh huh. Um, so I've been trying to eat right, but with the medication that I'm taking, um, like I have to eat constantly around the clock. Do the medication? Do the medication mm -hmm. got you gaining weight? Uh, do it do? No. Okay, do if the do the side effects say if you stop taking it you can have suicidal thoughts? Um nah, nah it was just saying like um I can't really remember. I'll have to go pull it up and look at it. Okay, well do that and then get back to me, but I can tell you uh what to do though. So for people that suffer from any type of psychological so called disorders, it's usually backed up toxemia on the brain. You know, you have different types of uh proteins that's on the brain, uh amyloid protein, metals, metals is not supposed to be in the brain, a uh, fluoride floating around in the brain, and uh, also mercury floating around in the brain. You need to detox your brain. You already doing the right things. I'm gonna give you a round of applause for that because you eating right so you already know that the gut and the brain is associated with each other and usually if your gut is off your psychological outlook on life and your perception of life is off as well so you already cleaning up the gut this what i would do if i was you i would get on more fruits i would do an 80 20 diet i do 80 percent fruits and i do 20 percent vegetables all raw if you can if you can't do it all raw cook your vegetables and make vegetable soup and defecate you need to get all of that poop and, and defecation and mucus out of your bowels once you clean up your bowels you'll be able to absorb, absorb the right nutrients and once you relieve all of that volumetric pressure from your bowels you're able to drain your maxillary cavities which is behind your brain and this is 
is how you drain your brain from all the mucus, from all the metabolic acidosis, and from all the different metals that's not supposed to be there. What we notice with any type of psychological evaluations and we find psychological disorders, we notice that the people cannot detoxify their brains. And what they did was they usually pull pieces of the hair and they check their hair. And when they check their hair, they don't find any type of metals. Metals was put into our water in the 70s. So everybody on earth have metals in their brain. And the way that they check to see if your brain and your head is detoxifying itself, they check for these little bitty nanoparticles or micrometers of particles called metals. And usually it's aluminum and albium and stuff like that, but they'll pull your hair and check it. What they notice is the people that doesn't have that, their brains or their head can't detoxify and all of that stuff is staying in their head. So you can come here and we'll give you, we'll check your hair and we'll check your blood and everything for you to make sure you straight. But we need to get you to relieve that pressure to actually drain your cephanoid cavities, your maxillary cavities, which is behind your eyes. Your cephanoid cavities is right here. This is all the, it's an overflow tank of mucus and of toxins that stay in there. And when that mucus and that pressure and all of those metals and toxemias is built up in the brain, it gives you a false perception of reality and it makes you look at reality different. And that's what gives you those different types of personalities or what they call bipolar disorder. So the best thing you're doing is what you're doing right now. Cleanse your gut, make sure that you actually hydrating, get rid of the parasites. I'm pretty sure you're de dealing with like a liver fluke as well and probably a few ascarias and tapeworms. Okay. You, we usually find that in people that have uh, what they would call so-called mental disorders because these are not mental disorders. You're just full of poop and you need to get the toxemias out of your gut and it's causing you not to be able to cleanse your brain. Once you de de detox your brain, you you will notice that them type of thoughts and them personality disorders go away. And this is heavily documented if you start looking up scientific articles. Clean your gut, clean your brain, get rid of the excessive mucus buildup, clear your body of these acidic proteins, eat your fruits and your vegetables and hydrate and take your herbs and these things will go away. Uh, the herbs that we give people that go through this is called the Geogenetic Therapeutic Package Level 1. So the Level 1 on an 80-20 diet, 80% fruits, 20% vegetables. You can still cook your vegetables, just eat your fruit raw, increase your liquid intake. I say do spring water, drink about 55 ounces of that a day. Make sure you're doing some jump roping, jogging. Make sure you get exposing yourself to hot and cold water. Anything that's going to get that circulatory and that lymphatic system moving for you can get all of those toxemias out of the brain. Okay. And, and look, we... We we'll love we we'll love to take you on too for the psychological issues. So I can show people that these things can be healed too. Yeah. Right. So uh, what's what's your name on here? <clears throat> um, my Instagram name is Princess Nara N A A R A H. Princess Nara N A A R A H. You hear that, Nabi? I wrote it down. Reach out to her too. Okay. So look, we will get you together, but do everything I said. Start that now. We'll reach out to you probably next week. It ain't gonna be this week because I'm booked up. But okay. I'll reach out to you next week and let's let's get you here. Let's get you here. I want to test your hair, and that'd be a good thing to show them exactly what I'm talking about. Is you can check the hair and see the mercury on the end of the hair follicles. You can see the toxins, but if you can't see them, and we know that everybody got it due to microplastics in the water and due to them putting mercury and metals in our waters in the early 70s, then that means you're not detoxing properly. So I'm I'm guessing nine times out of the 10, when I check your hair and I check your blood, we're going to find a bunch of metals and things in the blood and in the, in the, in the plasma of your blood and in your cells, but I'm not going to find anything on your hair because you're not able to detox your brain. Okay. All right, so let's get you together. You got this. All right, definitely. Look, I appreciate you know what's it. crazy? You already on the right path. You know how I know that it ain't truly bipolarism and all of that? Because you know enough and your perception and your consciousness to high high enough to know that I need to change my diet. And you on here watching me, knowing that you come, you like it's a it's a natural way to get rid of this without this medication. So the hard part is already done. Yeah. So you should be very, very, very proud of yourself, goddess, truly. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate like, you. Honestly. So look, I've been watching y'all for a long time. Go ahead. I said, oh, okay. I've been watching y'all for a minute. You have my word. You got my word. Now be a reach out to you. That's my word. All right. All right. I'll praise you. Right, I'll praise you the most. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Bless us. Bless us. See that? I, I love stuff like, because she already on. Y'all see her? She already on the path, y'all. She's already on the path. She's already on the path. She's already changing her diet. She already figured out the gut and brain connection, the gut and brain association. She already got that down. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and yes. 
Armist gold is good too. Any type of gold for real is good for the brain. But before we start putting other metals like gold in the brain, I want to get rid of the mercuries, the cadmium, and all the other metals because they can clash with each other. And amyloid protein love grabbing that shit up and creating these goblins up in there. So, you know, I want to really drain the brain and, and drain those maxillary cavities, the cephanoid cavities, and, you know, just really drain her whole cervical area. Drain that cervical area. Then we can start introducing zinc copper, gold, all the precious metals back into the brain. But before we do that, we got to get rid of those acidic corrosive metals at first that's causing all the damage and the perception changes. All right, who else we got? But should she still take her meds while detoxing? If it was me, if, if, if it was me, and my meds and my if it was me and my meds don't say if you stop taking it you will have suicidal thoughts i would stop taking it if it was me but i mean of course you can do what you want to do but if it was me i would stop taking it if it said if it don't say stuff like that of course certain certain pharmacologies have to be weaned off i'm not gonna sit here and act like it, it can't be i mean act like that you don't you can just stop anything certain things you have to be weaned off because your body has already adapted to it but it's certain things you can just be like you know the hell with it go cold turkey Blessings, goddess. How you doing? Peace. I'm doing What's well. Your, Thank you. Um, name and where you from? Um, my name is Asia. I'm from California. I'm in Sacramento Asia. right now. Asia yeah. from California. I love Sacramento. Man, they call it Macramento. Where I'm from. Yeah, that's <laughs> Macramento. True. I've been in your place too a couple of times. Oh, uh, you done, you done been to St. Louis? Yeah. It's twice. what you what you doing? in crazy st louis it's crazy out here now i was visiting some <laughs> friends <laughs> what's going on with you guys how can i help you okay so it's a lot going on with me i don't um i ordered your geogenetic package level three and i okay. um i'm dealing with um i don't like saying disease and all that stuff either but i'm dealing You're with not <laughs> claiming. I love I, it. um in june of last year i was diagnosed with lupus sle but mm -hmm. i believe i've been dealing with these issues for since 2009 because mm -hmm. i was hospitalized mm -hmm. they did all the tests and all this well i just woke up and my eyes were swollen shut my lip was touching my nose my joints i couldn't walk nothing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i was in the hospital they tested me for everything they just basically told me i had autoimmune and that <laughs> they that i was going to live on steroids for the rest, for the rest of, of my life. Your life. That's how they do you. And them steroids mess up your adrenal glands and your kidneys. So uh, as I was speaking about yesterday, when you look at the word lupus, lupus actually come from a uh, Latin word, which means wolf. And what wolf means is they talk about the wolf bite like structures that ends up on a pace on the face of, of, of lupus. Uh, what they are called victims because everything is victimology you're it's not your fault yeah, it's not yeah. what you've been eating it's not your mama's fault it's something that happened outside fault but that's what lupus stand for and you start seeing what's happening lupus is nothing but a metabolic acidosis if you remove the acids from the tissues then you will remove the actual acids from deteriorating the actual skin that makes or the tissues that make up the organs in your skin you you getting these lesions and things on your skin because your skin is trying to defecate out all the acids so it don't it only have one way, one way to go because it can't make it through your urine anymore and it can't make it through your your uh, digestive system so it's leaving it is alleviating itself through your actual skin it's called a fontanelle and the fontanelle just stands for our alternative root of elimination so when you look at lupus lupus is when they say that the immunological system is attacking the actual tissues of the body as I said yesterday, you have to ask yourself is if your body is intelligent, then why is the T cells or these reactive uh, or these reactive thymic cells attacking the tissues? It's not attacking the tissues. It's attacking the acids that's on the tissues. So if you remove the acids, then these actual leukocytes will start going and doing the other things other than trying to attack the tissues. You get what I'm saying? So the thing, the first thing you need to do is change your diet. And anybody with lupus, what we do is we put them on an all raw diet. Nothing and cook we get them away from seed oils we get them away from and we get them away from salts you can still use a little self to talk salt here and there but you ain't gonna use it on your food you just put a teaspoon of it in your water once a week just to make sure that the body is balanced electrically wise right so this is what i said you need to do you need to do a 50 50 50 fruit and 50 percent vegetables make sure that your fruit are very high in h3o2 and that that's these are fruits that is very watery like watermelon is very watery uh grapefruit is very watery oranges is very watery uh grapes got a, a lot of water in them any fruit that is very watery same thing with your vegetables your 
vegetables need to be high in water too. Like romaine is very watery. Watercress is very watery. And try to stay away from things like arugula and like kale because these things don't hold a lot of water and it slows down the digestive process. It takes a long time to break down kale and arugula. You see what I'm saying? So 50-50 fruits and vegetables and make sure that you add in astringent fruits to your diet as well. Yes, cucumber is a very, very hydrative fruit. There's very watery. In fact, cucumber have 99% water in it. Uh, but you need things like lemons, a uh, key limes, regular limes, uh, green apples, lemons, key limes, regular limes, and apple, green apples. These things are astringent. Grapes is very astringent. These things will pull and tug and bind on the acid chemistry that's in the body, help take it to the lymphatic vessels. The lymphatic vessels, you have these macrophages and these leukocytes that will come and gobble up these cells, phagotocytes, these cells, then take it to the actual, these macrophages take it to the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes would then degrade them back down and it'll go through the vessels that end up in your kidneys. And now you're, you're urinating all this metabolic acid acid out of your body and when we check your urine which i want to do because it's clinic finna be popping i'm telling you we're gonna find uric acid in your uric carbonic acid we're gonna find all these different acids and degraded proteins that's not supposed to be there there and then you will see all the symptomologies of so-called lupus go away because remember lupus is nothing but a metabolic disease you already got the herbs now you just got to adapt that diet. If I was you, I'd get on that diet ASAP and I'd make sure that I get on those liquids. Now I got a question with your liquids. When you drinking all of those waters or you swelling, you seeing any edema set in in your feet, your ankles, your toes? I used to have it really bad, but I wanted to share some things with you. I, I got it. I got my package in October. I started it in December. And I, like I said, back in 2000, 2009, I went in the hospital. I changed my diet because that's when I got introduced to um, Sabi, mm -hmm. and I just like started transitioning from then. And I and at the time I was living in Miami, so I had access to everything. And I literally reversed my situation because I was married at the time, and my bonus baby she got diagnosed at the age of ten. So we just changed our whole everything our whole lifestyle and i guess i put it into remission I, don't, I wouldn't say that i got rid of it because obviously it came back here in 2023 mm -hmm. but i when i started the program i got so sick like i could not hold nothing down and i was already raw so that's really why i was reaching out because i wasn't able to get because, a, um consultation and, the reason, and think about this though god is the reason why shouts out to 19 keys in the building shouts out to you my brother oh we got a rap bro but uh, the reason why you was throwing up when you was actually on the, the, the raw diet is because it was making you detox super fast. Same things if you get on my three bitters. Uh, nine times out of ten, if three people take my three bitters, two of those people are going to take them and immediately throw up. And you have to ask yourself why. Because it's a bunch of alkaline agents coming into the body real fast, and it causes the body to violently uh, projectile or to expectorate. So I wouldn't have took that as a bad thing. You're just going to be throwing up all the things that's not supposed to be in your body along with the stuff that's supposed to be in your body until you get enough acids out. Once you get enough acids out, you'll be able to take those foods and they'll stay down longer. So don't don't look at vomiting as a bad thing. It's just a part of a detoxification symptom. And sometimes people got to go through those violent throwing up. And a lot of our clients go through that as well uh, when, when, they're, when they're changing their diet up like that. Now, what I would do, since you are so acidic, because we are talking about lupus, which is metabolic acidosis, you can ease your way into that type of diet. So, for instance, is you can do the Dr. Sabi diet right now. And while you're on the Dr. Sabi diet, only be on it for two weeks. And in that second week, be weaning yourself off of the cooked meals going into the raw meals. Then spend another two weeks, which is a month now, on the raw meals and then go into the fruits and vegetables. Then once you get completely into your fruits and vegetables, you shouldn't be throwing up no more. And now you can stay and sustain that diet while you're healing, while you're on the geogenetic herbal therapy. Okay, so I. I did start and I went into like the almost into the third week. So do I need to mm -hmm. order more herbs? Like that's what I was trying to figure out too. Because if I'm, you want a geogenetic three, the geogenetic three is a 14 week protocol. So you only into one month. You got still you still got two and a half, three months to go. I wouldn't necessarily say you need that because now it's gonna start getting more extraneous because I, the way I did the program, the way I created the herbal package, the deeper you are into the weeks, the stronger the detox get anyway. Because I didn't want to start you off on a very strong detox and then it deter you from the
the detox, you like, hell no, nah, these herbs whooping my ass, I ain't <laughs> doing it no more. You see what I'm saying? So, and then, then I, I, I situated it for it wouldn't be like that. But unfortunately, we just got, well, fortunately, we got some of the best herbs in the country. So they, yeah. they work. <laughs> so uh, I think you will be A-OK. -okay. I don't think you need to buy nothing else from the site. You got everything you need. You just have to perfect that diet. That's literally what you got to do. And you have to hydrate and just go into this with the mindset of lupus, autoimmune the reason why the t cells are attacking my tissues is because they're eating the acids that's on my tissues and if i get rid of the acids i get rid of these these gang banging t cells and now i don't have lupus no more so your whole entire mission and purpose is to get rid of the metabolic acidosis that's your whole mission yeah because when i was doing i was noticing i was getting like the hard um probably the acid coming out like in my neck like yes, it was that's so good. but see hard. but the reason you see why the acid and everything is in your neck you see your face yeah. that means you got acids built up in your esophagus and all throughout your cervical area so the cervical areas is from your shoulders up the axillary areas is from your shoulders down then you start getting into the goat which is the gut associated lymphatic system you need to move your lymph the lymph is what take care of the acidity in your body but your lymph is stagnated because your kidneys and your adrenals are not online your diet that water that hydration plus some herbs are going to help detox and you put your adrenals back online guess what your adrenal glands make steroids naturally so okay. once your adrenal glands is working and now you can actually produce this natural steroids guess you ain't gonna need to take the other steroids anymore so it's just all about being smart and working with the program and working with your food so just have it in your mind that you need to get rid of all this excessive acids and once you have that in your mind you will start seeing all the other symptomologies go away how can i get back in the sun the photosynthesis yes. is so i know photosynthesis up. yes i know <laughs> so unfortunately until then now you but until you cleanse but you can do this when the sun first come out you can get that near infrared sunlight so if the sun raises at five or six o'clock for that first hour be in the sun it will not harm you you ain't supposed to be in the sun from 12 to 3 that's when it really will burn you because photosynthesis and what you would call uh, photobiomodulation is not going to work with you because your skin is so deteriorated from the acidosis. And acid and what the sun does, the sun is a detoxifier. It's acidic. It's going to pour acids and, and it, it gives you a lot of pain. But be, when the sun is set, setting, when it's setting, the hour before it completely sets, you can be in it. And the hour once it rays, you can be in it. I wouldn't be in it any other hour than that until we get you cleaned up. And then we'll start putting you on some sun therapy okay and have you ever heard of anybody like their skull actually like opening up like my memory and all of that is shot out yeah, and i can notice things that can happen from acids as well but you got to remember when whenever you hear the word autoimmune disease just think metabolic acidosis we should start changing that word it should be interchangeable so if i say you have autoimmune disease what you gonna say it's really what metabolic Metabolic acidosis. So what you got to get rid of? The acid. The acid. The a and look, the only thing that can deteriorate bones is acids. The only thing that can cause your skin to bring out lesions is acids. The only thing that can eat up and eat through your red blood cells other than parasites and macrophages or, uh, or, or, or uh, 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 leukocytes is acids. The corrosive side of chemistry is acids. The death dead side of chemistry is acids the pain side of chemistry is acids the rebirth inside of chemistry the painless and peaceful side of chemistry the regenerative and rejuvenating and hydrating side of chemistry is alkalinity you need to be more on the alkaline side right now on the ph scale you're in a acidic medium and you need to get more neutralized once you start neutralizing your potential hydrogen all of these symptoms will go away Okay. And my right. vision. I know, yeah, I, that was the last thing I was going to mention was my vision. I know you said that you um still working on that, but are you working with people? Because I did notice in the summer when I just did my straight watermelon grape fast, mm -hmm. like it was starting to so, get so better. So now you know. So look, you see how your body telling you what you need to be on because you start yeah, seeing improvement when you're on the fruit. spots were coming back. You like, see that? Yeah. So you know better. what you need so, to be I, on. You know what you need to be on. But look, you already we need to put you in a patient portal because you already got the geogenetic therapeutic package uh i'm glad you me mentioned favor, that because i reach out okay we my, i had an i had an account on your site mm -hmm. and i talked to brother bernard a couple times 
and let him know but he's like just create another account because they were i guess they were working you guys were working yeah. with somebody to try to get that fixed but yeah we I didn't yeah that. No, you know okay we, we'll recreate recreate your account and get you in the system uh what's your end what's your end a j a o m n i e s e it's aja omnis say it again a j a o m n i e s e n i e s e uh-huh all right he, he got you he finna email you now my bad Nabi. Be. I don't I don't put an IB on a whole mission. I'll be back <laughs> and I'll be back here typing away. So we got you. We're gonna get in contact with you. Uh we're gonna bring you in as a client since you already got the Geogenetic 3 package. Uh with being a membership and being a client, uh you get discounts on everything and you get to talk to us all the time. So you would like oh, it. Oh yeah, because I was asking Brother Bernard too, are you guys turning it into a like a place where you can come and stay? Because yes. I so figured that's that the land. The land will be done in October. We it's amazing. It's a, it's a form on the land. It's a six bedroom, five uh, five bathroom house on it. It's amazing, and it's actually gonna be a healing retreat that'll be done in oh, October. Praises. All praises. Thanks. So <laughs> he's speaking to you soon. Okay, guys. All right. Peace. All right. Peace, love, light, and peace. Right <laughs> I don't know how to hang up. It's top your top left. Top right, I mean. Right. Okay. Thank you. Peace. Who who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we got in the building? I hope y'all taking all these notes. These things are very, very, very important. Peace, peace. How you doing? How you doing? What's your name and where you from? Good. Hello. Um this my name is Samantha and I'm from Texas, but I am currently in Alaska. You in Alaska? Um, I, you in Alaska? I, my husband is from Alaska, and this is where we came to raise our children. But we're moving back to Texas because there ain't no. Thank you. We have two. One over there. Okay, I see. Congratulations. But this this is my husband, and this is who I really want you to talk to. Peace, peace. All right, let me talk to him. What's going on with you, brother? What's good, my brother? Um, I have a few issues going on. I got fractures in my spine, and it came from multiple myeloma, which is cancer. Yes, yes multiple myeloma. And um. Yeah, man, and, and it's just, it was uh, it got to the point where um, they told me if I would have waited another week, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I just got out the hospital at the end of February, and um, it took 25 pounds off my body, and um, man, I'm just trying to get right, but there's no, like, the fruit here is horrible. Like, literally, there's no seeded fruits here. Everything gets shipped up here, and it's all man-made. <laughs> brother, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to keep it a buck thousand you need to move asap i would we not, trying me personally yeah with what you got going on period mm -hmm. with family and chill <laughs> i would not be in alaska there is no type of produce out there to be honest with exactly. you so exactly so until then you do need to now with you uh what stage did they say it was in they didn't say stages they said numbers and my number like i've been taking the chemo because i was terrified i almost died like i said and um when i was in the hospital my numbers, my, my light chain numbers was at, they said, uh, 280. And now they say I'm down to like yeah, 60. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, they, we, we, they want to see it under 30. Under 30 is real good, but you down to 60 from 280. That means that the cancer, the chemotherapy did do its job, which is to kill cells, but you know, it killed everything else around your spinal column. So we got to rebuild yeah. back up and regenerate, uh, those areas. But first we need to do, we have to get rid of the chemotherapy. Uh, unfortunately, when people go through so many rounds of chemotherapy and you put them on high detoxification herbs, that chemotherapy dumps back into the blood before it can make it to the extracellular fluid to get to the lymphatic system and it take them down because it changes the pH of the blood. So we're going to have to cleanse you slowly. Um, you need to do things like Miami fruits, Miami uh -huh. fruits, uh, to order you some fruits there. You need to just do that. Uh, a matter if you need, if you need help, I will, I will, we will get, we'll get you your first fruit basket. My word. I order you one just to show you, uh, I'll donate a fruit basket to you. And then you got to order those until you move because you gonna need fruits and you gonna need vegetables to get the nutrients you need to rebuild your cells, man. You're going to need those nutrients. Uh, also you need to look into oxygen therapy. Oxygen therapy will be very, very good for you. Or you wheelchair bound right now. Do they got you in no, a wheelchair? No. You want to walk? I no, I just got off the walker a few weeks ago. Um, I'm walking on my own two feet. Um, I just gotta wear this this vest right here yeah. to keep my keep back your, straight. Back, yeah, keep your spine stable. Okay. Yeah. So look, this is what we need to do. Uh, we need to get you on uh, regenerative herbs and regenerative 
uh, foods. These are things like berries, uh, you know, blueberries, blackberries, mulberries, saw palmetto berries, uh, scandria berries. You need to go berry crazy. Just start eating a bunch of berries. Also, you need to be on regenerative types of what you will call vegetables. These are things like okra, uh, arugula, parsley, things like that. All raw. If I was you, I wouldn't eat anything that's really cooked right now because we truly, truly got to cleanse those cells and we got to get those chemotherapy, uh, the chemotherapy out of you. In your case, I usually say go hard or go home and go on all fruits. But if I put you on all fruits, it might take you out because you got so much chemotherapy in your bloodstream and in your tissues. So we need to have a mix actual diet of fruits and berries. See, the, I mean, vegetables. The vegetables will ground you and they will actually help mitigate the actual detoxification. All fruits, well, I mean, it's going to pull and it's going to stringe, but if you're doing both together, you can have this slow process of at least letting some of that chemotherapy out of those tissues and we can get that out of your body before we can start rehabilitating that spinal cord, that spinal column. Okay, and, okay, and, okay. And we brought back a spinal cord. Uh, it was a man from Detroit. What was it about seven years ago now, B? Where he was in a wheelchair. He was in a wheelchair for over ten years because he got he had got shot. And I got him walking again. I got him Damn. up and walking again. That that healing is possible. Healing is most definitely possible. But we gotta stop on the video. So yeah, we got they start they, they finna start messing with us. That's all right. So. Um, Man, just if you could give me a, a email address and some information, and yeah. I can see my info, and we can work on it. Let's do it. But what I want to come see you. Are you 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 say you got a clinic in Houston uh, too? It ain't open. I'm gonna focus on the one here for about a year. Then we're gonna open up Houston. Uh, our laboratory is in Houston, though. Oh. But you can okay, meet, so you can meet me here in St. Louis, man. Come see me. Come visit me. I'm trying to get my bread up right now to make trips, and um, that's the that's the plan. We moving back to Texas in October. And um, yeah, this is the last time I'm gonna see this place. I was just raised up here, man. I've been in Texas the last 20 years. We just moved home for a while, and uh, it did it ain't working out. I thought it would be nice to live in Alaska, coming from Texas, but I'm I just like the summertime. The winter time is not one of them. I bet, I bet. So yeah, man, get get back over on this side, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your at, man? Um, hers is mine is Director T Manley. Director T. -S -S yeah, Director T E or just a regular T. T E E T E E Manly, M A N L E Y. Yes, sir. L E Y. All right. And then, uh, do you want us to reach out to your wife as well? Yeah. What's yes, hers? please, because she's the. Hers is a uh, Sammy the Goddess. S A M M Y T H E G O D D E S S with the underscore after it. All right, we got you. Sammy the goddess. All right. Now be gonna reach out to y'all. Let's get all your information in. Uh, if we can, let's get you down here as soon as possible for we can do a whole scan on you. And then uh let's get you on a, a plan, man. We need to get that chemotherapy up out of your body first, though, before we able to really dive deep into the healing because we don't want that chemotherapy to crash that blood pH. Then it's gonna be a whole nother problem we're talking about. Man, I, I so appreciate you, Thank man. You. We gonna so we good. definitely gonna whatever it takes, whatever you need me to do, we're gonna do it. All right, let's do it, brother. All right, thank All right, you. Peace. Peace, man. Peace. All right, how do we do? How do we get out of here? Yeah, I think that's your top right. Perfect. Top right X. Yep, hit that top right X. What do you think? Now we do one more. Yeah, one more. All right, we're doing one more, man. We got to get up out of here, y'all. One more. One more. We up out of here. All right. Yes, yeah, 10, 10, 10. Can y'all still hear me? Am I still visible? Did it cut me off? Can you still see me? I still see, but we got a drag. We got a lag, though. It's a lag, y'all. I might have to get up out of here. If don't nobody pop up, because I just clicked on somebody. I'm going to be live again tomorrow, y'all. I'm going to be live again tomorrow. I guess we're running over our time. I don't know if I'm running out of time and they cut me. I don't know what's going on. But look, peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. www.yakiawaken.com. All your herbal needs. Uh, in, in exactly a week from now, you'll be able to go in there and book a consultation in person to come to the clinic. We're doing live blood analysis. We're doing dry blood analysis. We're testing bloods, STD screening. We're doing iridology readings. We're doing uh, tongue readings. Uh, we're doing IV therapy. What else we doing, IB? Uh, we doing yes, and if they if they need them, we doing a bunch of stuff. Like we really got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, this is a holistic clinic. Uh, we are collaborating with doctors. Doctors are coming to us saying that they want to work with us now. And a lot of things are changing, y'all. A lot of things are changing, and the holistic uh, movement is really really going up. Uh, 
what they what you call it? It's on the spectrum now. Let's go on. So look, check us out. www.yakiawaken.com. Peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. I'll see y'all tomorrow around the same time. Peace.